Hello, welcome to Friday Night Shoes. I'm host Pierre Ritz. Today we're doing the Pac-Man Power Pellet. This is actually something I created before I even started the site. It was created around about the time I created the Castlevania Hidden Turkey. It is actually my very first bomb style shot I ever created. I created a couple cocktails prior to this. Other than the Castlevania Hidden Turkey, they weren't that great. Because I was still learning the concept of making pop culture cocktails. But when I made this, my very first ever bomb shot it was such a very good concept but very good quality and it told the story it began the idea of doing spirit cocktails on top of everything else now obviously this is a bomb style shot so you got you two shots one drops in the other one you take but this is how it's made first shot you want to do is take in a half ounce of your 443 this is going to be your power pellet The reason why I chose the Core 43, because well, other than at that time, that's like all I had that was yellow. I wanted to keep it a yellowish color. Then you also add in half ounce of vodka. I'm going to set that aside. Now you want to create what's called the Blue Ghost Mixer. The reason why it's called a mixer is because this is what creates the ghost. So you want to take basically one ounce of your Blue Carousel. Nothing else, just Blue Carousel. I got a loud phone. There you go. Put that aside. And then you're creating your chaser, which later becomes the ghost. Look at it this way: you're taking your power pellet. This is your ghost. All like I'm gonna get in your ass. I'm gonna. Well, yeah, that was alright. Basically, it's a, your ghost is gonna attack you. He's gonna eat. He's gonna basically obliterate you. You eat your power pellet. He's a little weakling. He he's just gonna run from you. He's gonna turn blue. So you're adding eight ounces of Red Bull. Basically, it's roughly what I have left in the can. Now to take the shot, first thing you want to do is take a power pellet. Turn you into Pac-Man with the power pellet. And then you take the mixer, you drop it in the glass, turns it bluish, creates your ghost. You consume the ghost. Show you how it's made, how you do it. Hmm. Considering the fact that it's been close to two years since I had this drink, that's not that bad. The thing is, is looking back on a lot of the original cocktails I made back before I even began the site, or just the first few posts I had, they're still, to this day, really good cocktails. This whole week has been cocktails I made in the past. To basically show you the different things that I had made, Things that started the whole brand. But this particular one, you're getting a good hit of vanilla, the different herbs you get with the, the Core 43. The vodka gives that a little bit of a burn. Gives that a little bit of that, like, we got some power behind that. So you take that, and then you're taking your mix of the Blue Carousel and the Red Bull, so you get a lot of citrus flavor from that. Because Red Bull itself has a lot of citrus. Blue Curacao, citrus. You're adding citrus and citrus. Take out one shot. So it's actually it's very potent as far as flavor shot goes, but it's really not potent as far as alcohol. You get a little bit of burn from the initial shot because obviously you're putting vodka in it, and so this is a low ABV. So you're getting this is help making it more higher ABV. So you're getting 
a little bit of potency, but not by much. But you're getting so much flavor from that shot to this shot. But that I said, the concept is, you take the power pellet, the ghost is like, help me. Falls in, and turns into a blue ghost. You take the ghost, you drink it, you eat it. Just like in the game. Now this actually concludes basically what began the Spirit Cocktails brand as far as like different ideas. Very first bomb shot. I made you my very first cocktail ever, the Caspian Hen Turkey. I made my very first video that was ever created. Well, very first cocktail that got part of a video in the God of War Light of Helios cocktail. In the very first ever part of the You Create the Series event. So this is a whole week has been like filled with a lot of first, a lot of like milestones in the whole Spirit Cocktails brand. What began the Spirit Cocktails brand. And I hope you enjoyed this whole week. I love making these cocktails again, considering some of these cocktails, including the shooter, I haven't had in years, and I miss how much they, how good they taste. It's like, you make a recipe you don't have for years, you forget about it. You go back in your, like, your list of recipes, or uh, whatever you have, or you keep your recipes, and you see, and you're like, oh, let me make this again. And you haven't, you'll realize why you made it in the first place, why it's that good. So this is a very good shot, very good cocktails, it was a lot of first, a lot of good experiences, and hopefully this creates many, many, many more years and cocktails to come, because you see where it all began, now you see where we're going. Spirit Cocktails brand is something that's going to stay in there for a while, it's something that as long as you people enjoy it, the fans... It's going. I'm gonna keep doing it. It's something that's it's fun to do. It's a lot of creativity behind each of these cocktails. The one thing I do that's different from a lot of other people who drink cocktails is I tell a story. This it's just a shot. You have your shot with a shot and a shot. The idea I have is power pellet. The ghost runs for cover. You consume the ghost. There's your story. Very simple story, very simple shot, but it's a very effective story, very effective shot. Now, that's something I hope any of you ever tried it in the past. You liked it then, and you want to try it again now? Just tell me what how you think about it. Any other drinks I made, any other cocktails or shooters or whatever that you enjoyed in the past, let me know. Something you would like to see, like my old original cocktails, either remade for the show or completely redone as far as ingredients wise and make a completely new cocktail for the show but based off the same idea coming up well then probably or next week or week after i am going to create a whole week of v2 cocktails i'm taking like at least four or five of my cocktails completely redoing them older cocktails cocktails i haven't done in a while but creating them completely new for today's standards it's something I did in the past. I started creating a lot of the V2 cocktails. If you look back, obviously my Castlevania Hidden Turkey, that's a V2 cocktail. I created the Illumin's Blessing World of Warcraft drink as a V2. I even created my Forsaken Elixir as a V2 cocktail. Forsaken Elixir cocktail was really, 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 really good from the very get-go. So to remake that, I wanted to keep that concept, keep that flavor. And, but also make it something that's better in today's standards because one thing when I made that drink at a bar they couldn't make it until my friend was able to supp supply the Mountain Dew because they don't have Mountain Dew so not many bars have Mountain Dew so if you want to get this in a bar you couldn't make it so I wanted to make it something that you can get in the bar but keep a lot of flavor so when I made it it kept the same concept as far as flavor and the same concept that the drink itself needed and it made a very good cocktail overall. It was a V2, but a lot better. But still keeping the concept. So stay tuned for a whole week of V2 cocktails. Whereas this week was innovation cocktails. I hope you enjoyed this week. Hope you enjoyed these cocktails. And enjoy every cocktail from now on. Because they're all going to be good. As always. As always, like us on Facebook to Concept Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Visit our Patreon account. 
help donate, help build our brand into something more than it ever can be, because it relies on you. You are our bread and butter, our brick and mortar. You are what makes this site what it is. Without you, I'm just a guy posting drinks. You are what makes this site what it is. But as always, drink responsibly.